gonna talk about this new camera today. Believe it or not, this is a camera. This is a uh, sunglasses, right? But if you can see, the camera is actually built in like right here. There's a little hole right there. So it's actually true point of view. It's not mounted on your forehead, it's not mounted on your chest, it's true point of view. Basically, it's based what you look at right here between your eyeballs, it's true point of view. It, pretty much the same thing as far as like um, a recording ability uh, as most point of view cameras. 1080p max, goes down to 720, blah, 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 all that stuff. I'm sure you guys know that. The point of view of this camera is not the 170, 180 degree really wide. You know, when you um, hook a fish or something, it might even be a big fish, but it's so far away because of the point of view, I mean, because of the wide angle, it looks tiny. This one is not so much. It's not wide, but you get the exact thing you are looking at, right? Which is a narrower point of view, okay? So the stuff that's uh, not that far away, it's actually gonna look pretty, pretty substantial on your point of view. Of course, you lack the ability to get everything in this angle. The can the, um, obviously this has battery packs and memory cards built in on both sides. On the left side, there is a controls, a rocker switch. Push this button here to push, push this button, push this button here to take pictures, push this button here to turn on and off the video mode. So in theory, you can actually uh, be taking a video and if you want a still shot at that moment in time, you actually push the back button and you can actually take a still picture right then and there as well. Um, the on and off button is right here. You hold us down, right? and there's a blue button that you can see in your glasses that comes on, telling you it's on. You can push this button right here, and it will start recording. As you can see, let me see, you can see that. The light, the blue button tells you it's on. The button on the, the light, the blue light tells you it's on, and the light at the top that tells you it's recording. And if you, when you press the, see the blink in there? And you press the other button, you also, so you, you also take a picture. So, when you're not recording, you can push that button and it'll still take a picture. See that? It blinks. Take a picture. So, in theory, you can have this camera on. Well, actually, you can have it off, actually. You can have the glasses on. Glasses slash camera. You can have this, this uh, camera on, and when you see a fish, you can say, okay. Start recording. You can tell it's recording just by pulling up a little bit. You can actually see it's blinking, it's recording, so you know it's on. A lot of times, um, the other point of view camera, you don't know it's on, or any of the stuff, right? Because the LED and display, especially on the top of your head, you don't know it's really on or not until after you get home. So now it's recording. You can press the button again, turn it off, you make sure it's off, it is off. Blue but the blue button is still on. I mean, the blue light is still on. So you, it's still on pause mode, so it does, you know, oh, see a fish, turn it on. And it's also polarized as well. The lens is definitely polarized. Hold the button down to turn it off. Light goes off. It's done. Speaking of the lens, it comes with the glasses, obviously. It also comes with a clear lens option. Also comes with a amber slash yellow option for higher contrast and low light activities. So it comes with that as well. Comes with a cleaning cloth. Comes with a micro USB. So you can actually plug this in your computer, your um, portable USB charger or battery pack, and you can charge it with a normal micro U micro USB. Also, when you transfer the file, you use the same. You use the same cable to transfer the file to your Mac or your PC. Well, it comes in this little handy shop case as well. They tell me um, the recording time. It's eight gig built in. The recording time is uh, 75 minutes. Doesn't seem like a lot compared to other cameras, but 75 minutes is an hour and. Uh, uh, an hour and 15 minutes of recording time, right? Um, that's a lot, especially for something this small, and you just keep it off all the whole time, 
until you see the, some action or some fish or whatever is happening at the same time. It's worth a try. I will do a little demonstration for it as well. I'll go outside. I actually got some underwater footage already for you guys. So I'll show that part and I'll also show me running around and uh, on a field or something like that so you can actually see what it is and what it looks like and what the point of view is on a, on a stable environment rather than just being on the water. Anyway, this product is called Pivot Head. It goes for about 280 bucks. Comes with everything you see here. And there's a bunch of accessories as well. Anyways, Pivot Head, there you go. Fish. We got lots of fish. I'm gonna sit down so they don't the rest of the fish don't see me fighting this so I can catch more. Little guy. 